Now that you know what NFTs are and how to create them, we need to talk about how to market your NFTs if you're going to become an NFT creator and seller. We're bringing back expert Caitlin Strempel of MetaMint Marketing. She's going to be breaking down what you need to know about the best practices for marketing your NFTs and making those sales of your collections. Hi, I am Caitlin Strempel. I am the CEO of MetaMint Marketing. We are the first ever women-owned NFT marketing agency for women, and we help artists launch out their NFTs. NFT collections. And I'm so excited to be back here for a second time. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited because last time we talked all about what NFTs are, how they impact business. And today we're talking specifically about how to market them once they're created. So what do we need to know when it comes to marketing NFTs? First and foremost, I mean, I think the biggest difference between web two and web three is that you actually have to really be social. And they always say that in web in web two. But really it is getting out there and supporting other women or artists in the space and truly making friends and being authentically yourself. I think that more than anything in Web3 is so potent and so powerful for you getting your name out there because people ultimately need to love you before they love your collection. I love that. And community is really, really important. So where's the first thing or where the, where's the first place we should be looking to form and build that community for ourselves? Yes, I would first go to Twitter. So that is where all the NFT people are and that's where they've been forever. And that's where you're gonna get the most learning. Me personally, I, you know, I'm on TikTok as well and I think it's much smaller, but if you're really into learning a little bit more about the basics and what, again, what an NFT is and all of that good stuff, or you just want somebody to figure out how to follow, you can go and search NFTs there, but really you're going to find so many people in Twitter. That's where you're going to find all the collections that are launching or have launched all the communities. And you really just kind of have to go down a rabbit hole, which I hate saying, and I hate making people do that <laughs> because it can be a big rabbit hole, but just getting in there, and if you search the hashtag women in NFTs or NFT community, NFT community is like a little um, promotional right now, but like women in NFTs is a really great one to at least get in there and start following people. And once you follow people, you're going to see them shout out or retweet other people. Then you can follow them there. And then you'll start to see Twitter spaces pop up about, you know, women in NFTs or certain NFT collections. And you literally like once you're in and once you're dialed in and you're following people, you'll figure out the ones who you really want to follow. You'll figure out who they're connected to and which Twitter spaces are the best. So that is like the best place to be by far. And I know that Twitter spaces is really, really big right now because it's so social and because people can pop on and have these very intimate conversations with people and get a lot of information out. But outside of Twitter, where else should we be looking? For, for communities, basically. Mm -hmm. So there's discords as well, which people have a love hate relationship with, which I totally get. And you know, what it is, is if for anybody who doesn't know what discord is, it's a platform where basically you need a link to get into a community and then you get in there and it somewhat looks like a Slack channel, which is like, there's different categories that you can click on. There's usually a read the rules here. This is where you chit chat. This is where our announcements go. And that's when you can actually talk to people who are in the same collection who are, you know, probably wanting to be a part of the same purpose if they're in that collection. And you can really start to meet people there and talk to them one on one. I think there is like a women's and NFT one. Every collection basically has one. Um, and again, you we're gonna find those through Twitter, but once you know you find people's profiles and you like them, you can go to their Discord. But that's where you can really have some one-on-one -on -one conversations. You can ask questions any time of day. And um, the community, the community is strong there. I love that. So once you've built up your community, you found your tribe of people, what are next steps for marketing NFTs? So for me, after you've done all your research, and again, you know, the NFT space is a huge rabbit hole and really understanding what type of art you want to create. Are you going to be doing photography? Are you going to be doing um, 
maybe it's uh, generative art, maybe it's one-on-one -on -one art, maybe you're painting and taking a picture of it. You know, it's figuring that out and it's really deciding what the big purpose behind that is. You know, like why are you launching? So it's not just this collection that you're launching, it's kind of like a mini business. Like it's your little mini Web3 business that you need to connect with people because you're asking them to invest in you. So you need to figure out first and foremost what your purpose is and really, really craft your marketing and your project around that. And just first steps, bring people along the way, jump in. You can even bring them in while you're doing the research, while you're creating your NFTs, while you're learning different things. Maybe you're creating an NFT and Procreate. Bring people along with you. That's going to be the best way to connect with people and really get them to follow you and your story and really get them to, you know, take a bigger part in what you're doing. So number one is long winded answer, but that is what I would do. <laughs> I love that. And you mentioned bringing them along on the process. So is it a smart choice to be showing the behind the scenes, to be showing glimpses of these NFTs before they're revealed in the official collection? Absolutely. So just marketing in general, people want to know everything. They don't want to have any questions left behind before they make a purchase, before they cite, you know, decide to invest in you. But really, again, you digging in, doing the research is what everybody needs. Everybody has the same questions as you. They don't know what they're doing most of the time and they want to learn. So it's kind of that dual purpose of you're telling your story. They're getting, you know, to feel your vibe if they like you, <laughs> you know, if and and then you're also teaching them. So you're becoming an authority figure in this space as well. So now when I highly recommend it. I love that. When it comes to marketing your NFTs, how long should this process be? Is it right before you release this collection? Is it the process of creating the NFTs or are we marketing months and months ahead? So I would expect everyone to be in it for the long haul. If you want to build up a community that's very genuine, that's very authentic, that has your back, that really becomes friends, it will take a while. And I always say that never start with a launch date, start with building your community and it can start wherever you want to be. It can start on Twitter. And then once you build up a, you know, a community there, you can bring them over a little bit to discord, um, or you can start with discord right away, do something special over there. And as people follow you, they'll, you know, they'll start filtering into discord, but first and foremost, you want to build a community and the bigger the collection, the bigger the community you're going to need because you're going to need a launch to somebody. So really focus on that. And once you start crafting this community that becomes very solid, that you feel really good about. And even if you, you know, have a small community and you just want to launch two NFTs, like you can do that, you know, but I would first and foremost work on your community and then figure out based on the quantity that you want to sell and who is in your audience, then um, that will that will determine the date and how long. When it comes to creating these collections, do you recommend working with a smaller collection first or a bigger collection in terms of how we can be marketing these? I personally, uh, just to get started, we work on the smaller ones and kind of grow with it. So as your community grows, your launches can grow, your pricing can grow, um, all of those things. But you, I mean, I have a friend who just launched two NFTs and, you know, and now she has clout because she's like, yeah, I just sold out my first one. Then she launched another one that was about, I think it was uh, seven to 10 and she launched out or she sold out again. So, and she's just start, starting to grow too. And um, I mean, you can do something where it's like, hey, if you want to learn to do this, you know, launch this one with me and I will help you launch it. So um, if you're starting, start small. I love that. Now, when it comes to pricing for NFTs, do we lean heavily into that with our marketing or is that something that we kind of lean more into the storytelling and just allow them to get around to pricing when they go to look at them? I, well, I don't, I would never just lead with the pricing. I would always, you know, lead with your story, your purpose and community building. And even at the beginning, like you might not, you can market it and not even know what the price is until later down the road. Because again, um, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the cryptocurrencies are fluctuating so much that it could be totally different once it becomes launch time. And I think I mentioned this last time too. I can't remember, uh, but I said this a lot and I got this from somebody else 
and this is not for me, um, but I love it. So I'm going to repeat it is that what are you willing, what's the price that you're willing to part with your, your piece of art, you know? And I thought that was really potent, especially if it's a one-on-one, -on -one. you know, if it's a larger collection and there's maybe 10 of the same one, it'll probably, you know, the, in the, the eyes, the consumer's eyes, the value will probably be decreased a little bit. So if you have tiers, just keep that in mind. Um, but basically, I mean, the standard is all over the place. So really you can set the standard. Just know that, you know, the more expensive it is, you're probably gonna be spending more time building a community. And as you're creating these NFTs, there's a lot of things that you can attach to them utility-wise. There's some charities that you can work with, or you can do different fundraising type things. You can also add these benefits and the wonderful encounters and engagements to your NFTs. So when it comes to marketing those, what's your best advice for marketing the utilities attached to them? So I always say that people come, they're going to come to your collection. They're going to find your collection because they're going to like you and they're gonna to wanna to ask more about your collection. They're gonna get in there and they're gonna see the purpose behind it and feel attached to it or not feel attached to it. But when it comes to sales, you don't need a utility, but it will always, I mean, I'm gonna say it will probably 10 times the sales that you make, you know, especially if it's a large one and it's a really good utility because if it helps people too, that's a win, win, win. So, you know, they're, they're attracted to you and your story, they're doing good and they also get something back. So it's just a fun way to make sure that you boost up your sales and just tell your buyers how much you love them. So it could be anything. It could be um, a ticket to somewhere. It could be a piece of original art that you have. It could be access to you or access to a different community or um, maybe it's access to certain classes. So it's the possibilities are endless there and it's honestly just really fun to create and craft your utility too. I love that. And I love this behind the scenes look at how to market these NFTs. What else do we need to know when it comes to marketing them to our new communities? Yeah. So always start with your story. Talk about your story, why you're doing it, why it is that you're passionate about. Maybe it's um, the philanthropy that you want to support. Why are you passionate about that? And reach out to people too. If you want engagement, engage with them. Find find people who you would love in your community and uplift them and really work on serving them. And ultimately they're gonna be like, who is this? Who is this person? And they're gonna look more into you and become more attached to your story and your purpose. And that's, that's the true connection. And once you start building up those friendships, they're just gonna wanna support you. Honestly, whether they like the utility or not. <laughs> so that would be number one, um, really focusing in on your personal brand, but making the personal brand like actually you, like authentically you, not just this brand, which I think is actually the big difference between web two and web three is that like, oh, like what's my brand archetype, you know? And then you see a lot of that that's really popular and you're, you know, you kind of run with it. Here, it's a lot more like show up as you are, just tell us what you're doing today. What are you working on? You know, let's see you. I love that. That is fantastic. And you have been such a valuable resource for marketing NFTs, but I know you offer so many more resources as well. So where can everybody connect with you online? You can find me on Twitter at NFT Caitlin, or you can find me on TikTok at NFT Marketing Expert. And our website is metamintmarketing.io. Be sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell for the continuation of our NFT series and how it's going to impact you as an entrepreneur so you can continue to learn, grow, and potentially step into this new arena for your business. If you have questions or comments, let us know down below and our experts will continue to get those answered for you and we'll continue to bring back more experts to answer your questions and talk different topics on the world of NFTs. And we'll drop daily videos on TikTok, YouTube, live streaming, Instagram, and the tools and resources you need for easy content creation so you can get back to running your business quickly. We'll see you in the next episode.